Hi, I'm Rick, a product manager here at Cripple. In this demo video, I'll show you how simple it is to set up a data lake with our latest product, Cripple Lake, for all your IT and security data, such as logs, metrics, and distributed traces. Let's get started. Now, before you can analyze and query data from Cripple Lake, you'll need to organize it into data sets. Data sets let you store any IT and security data. All your data is stored in open formats, and you don't have to worry about predefined schemas. So whether your data is unstructured, semi-structured, or fully structured, Cribble Lake doesn't care. We ship with a number of default data sets out of the box to help you get started. Here you can see I've already added one of my own data sets to capture events coming from a Kubernetes cluster. In that same cluster, I also have logs, which I need to capture for my application team. These are coming from containers running inside of Kubernetes environment. I'm going to keep this data for 60 days, just in case my team needs to go back later and analyze information from a particular day. So once you save your data set, it's now ready to use inside of the rest of your Kribble products. So to get data into this data set, let's jump into Kribble Stream. Now to save data into our data set, let's go into our default worker group and go into data routes. Data routes are how you move data that you receive into Kribble Stream from a source and place it into a destination. You can see I've already got some default routes here. I've got some distributed traces coming from this environment that are already going into Kribble Lake. And here you can see the Kubernetes events from my cluster. Let's go and add a new route just below here. And these are specifically going to be the logs that we're going to land inside of Kribble Lake. And so for the filter, we've already got a destination set up. We're going to select that destination. And then in our pipeline, we're just going to use a simple pass through pipeline. We don't need to do any modifications. So what that means is the way the data comes formatted into Kribble stream, we're going to save that directly into Kribble Lake. And the beautiful thing about the tight integration we have with Kribble Lake and stream, as you can see here, my destination to land those logs inside of the Cripple Lake in that data set is already there for me in the output. So all I need to do here is hit save and deploy this configuration, start writing that information into that data set. All right, so we are now taking data coming in from our Kubernetes environment and we're saving those logs into Cripple Lake. So now if we want to query that information, we can head over to Cribble Search. Cribble Search already knows how to connect to every single data set inside of Cribble Lake. So if we want to pull back just the last five minutes, we can just change our time range. Select our data set. And let's just pull back the 50 most recent entries in the data set. So as the data starts to come in from the data set into Kribble Search, you can see Kribble Search looks at the actual raw log event and starts to extract all of the fields. This gives me the ability to do things like, for example, filter all of my logs based on this particular owner of the deployment or this container deployment inside of my Kubernetes cluster. So as you can see, within less than five minutes, we were able to onboard data, save it into Cribble Lake, and then to be able to search it. With Cribble Lake, we're not just limited to storing logs. We can also store things like distributed traces, which would allow my application teams to be able to come in and understand how their services are performing inside of our clusters. But we can also store time series metrics. So with that, let's go and take a look at another capability within Cribble Lake. With Cribble Lake datasets, you can add something that we call accelerated fields. I have time series metrics coming in from two Kubernetes clusters. One is from production, and one is from our development environment. Accelerated fields allow me to save all of that information inside of one single data set, but to be able to organize it based on the environment by looking at this label in the individual time series metrics as they are being saved into Cripple Lake. 
This makes it easy for your teams to be able to search this data later on in search. In search, we can see that my time series data set is ready for me to use. Let's go ahead and search it. And let's pull back time series metrics for the last five minutes. Triple search looks at the Kubernetes metrics data set and pulls back all of the results. And you can see that they're split quite differently between development and production. Now, instead of having to search the entire data set and then filter through the results, if I'm only interested in production, I can just use my accelerated field as a way to reduce the amount of data that I need to scan within that data set. This means that my search results are going to come back a lot more quickly. But I can also do some really interesting things like summarizing by environment, if I want to get a breakdown of how my time series metrics look across both those environments. So accelerated fields give your teams a, a more intelligent way to look at the data that's being saved within a data set, but also producing faster results because you don't have to scan wide ranges of data to be able to find the specific piece that you need. And that's it for our demo. So to take the plunge and try Cribble Lake, Head over to cribble.cloud and sign up and get 50 gigabytes of storage free on us.